I've recently replaced the chain and sprockets on my motorcycle, but rather than throw it all in the bin, I thought I'd make something useful from it. And that something useful is going to be a clock. So let's get going. As everyone knows, the key to a successful project is good preparation. So it's time to give those sprockets and the chain a good old cleaning. With the preparation done, it's time to set up how the clock's going to look. So the chain's going to go around the big sprocket and then around the small one at the bottom. Now I've got too much chain so I need to just um, mark that and cut it and then rejoin it again. Easy. The idea of making a clock out of chain and sprockets is hardly a unique idea. There are many different variants on YouTube that you can find. But this is my take on the concept. With the link marked that I need to cut, I simply use the angle grinder. With the chain cut, I can use the old joining link to join the chain up again. And then if I turn the chain over, you won't be able to see the joining link. Okay, so the first part of the process is complete. The next step in the process is to measure the diameter of that sprocket and then cut out a nice circle on a piece of scrap aluminium to use as the face for the clock. I'm drawing the outside diameter for the disc and then just going in a bit and doing another diameter for where the, um, uh, the number dots are going to be put in. And as we all know, if you use the radius, you can go around a circle six times. And so I do that, then halve it, and so I end up with 12 spots that I can then set a punch. So now it's a simple matter of cutting out that circle on the bandsaw. Quite satisfying cutting out aluminium. The bandsaw leaves a bit of a raggedy cut, so a nice sanding does the job just perfect. So now I've got a nice disc that fits inside that sprocket. After I've drilled all the holes in that aluminium for the numbers, I'm then going to just make some little brass discs that'll fit in those holes that'll represent the number positions. Of course it would have been easier just to use a couple of different sized dome head screws but 
I've got the lathe and so I'm doing this instead. Right here, there's one done. I'm going to do four large ones, which represent the 12, 3, 6 and 9. And then I'll do eight smaller ones that'll go in between that. Each of the little discs go into the hole with a nice tightish fit. And I'm just securing them with a little dob of super glue once I'm happy with all of them. So there we go, that doesn't look too bad. I'm welding a bracket onto the back of the sprocket so the clock can be hung from a screw. TIG welding steel is such a quiet and clean process. I've bought a clock mechanism online just for a few dollars and I'm going to use this on the clock. To secure the clock face onto the sprocket I'm just using um, some liquid nails which is just something I've had in the workshop. Um, could easily have used silicon which would have been a cleaner job I suppose but I didn't have any silicon open so liquid nails it is. The hands just press into position. They're very lightweight and very fiddly so it's very easy to bend them accidentally so you've got to take a little bit of effort to just do this right. Okay so there's the hour hand done. Time for the minute hand. Goes on the next graduation up.
yeah, it's got to be aligned very perfectly for it to slide down into its little position. Okay, that's done. Making sure they don't touch each other. And then the second hand sort of goes into the center. There's a little uh, pin that comes up from the center that the second hand goes into. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Put the battery in and see if the thing actually goes. Well, look at that. What a thing of beauty. And here it is in its final form being tested out. It'll eventually go to a new home as I'm going to give it away to a friend. This has been a very easy build but I'm quite happy with the end result. But wait, we're not finished yet. I wend my way through some of Norman's bikes in the garage that looks like a lounge room So I found a home for the clock with my bestest buddy and glamorous assistant Norman. Yeah, Th thanks Norman for adopting the clock. It's uh, exactly what I needed. Nice to see it's gone to a good home.